Back in the early 1900s, it seemed as though steam-powered cars would overtake petrol engines as the most popular form of motoring. Now, you don't need to be a genius to realise that petrol engines won the day, but for some, steam is still where it's at. Bill Rich is one such enthusiast, and he kindly showed concept cars his beloved Stanley Steamer. Definitely hot property. Obviously, Bill loves his steamer. But why was it the top power source back in the early 1900s? The steam was dominant at the turn of the century because it was a, a known technology. It was used in factories and power generation and steam trains and uh, traction engines. There was a lot of motive power being used in steam or by steam. And it was only natural that cars would take that route. And they were dominant, the cars were dominant in, in the so far as they were uh, much faster and quieter than early internal combustion engine cars. And um, they had formidable uh, acceleration, uh, very good hill climbing possibilities. And in fact, I believe in America and in this country, they were banned for, from hill climbing because nobody could beat them. They were just absolutely incredible. And as you probably know, the land speed record was taken by Stanley in 06 at 127 miles an hour and that record stood for about four years before it was taken or beaten by an internal combustion engine car. So it was very dominant. Certainly a lovely work of art, but what were the pros and cons of a steam powered vehicle? The advantages versus disadvantages of steam cars are the, the advantages I would say uh, that they're totally, almost totally silent, terrific acceleration, uh, very environmentally friendly, uh, disadvantages, very high maintenance, um, not terribly good fuel consumption, about 10 miles to the gallon, and you're up against the age-old problem with steam, which is the getting the thermal efficiency from the fuel into the water. The, you have to have a fire which has got to generate heat that's got to pass through a steel wall into the pressure container that has the water where the pressure is being generated and you cannot get a, a terribly efficient flow of heat through that um, structure and this really is what limits the thermal output of these uh, steam cars. Hmm, I'm not convinced. I would swap it for the Beamer. But if I did, what would it be like to own the Stanley? My ownership experience of a steam car has been very uh, up and down. When I first got it, it was a mechanical disaster and um, ended up rebuilding it mechanically. And it's now going probably as well as it ha has ever been since it left the factory. And absolute joy to drive, great fun to have and to, uh, to go about and it's always a, uh, a big talking point and a thing of interest. You, you only have to park anywhere and you have a crowd around you in, in minutes. It doesn't matter where you go, uh, they do create a lot of interest. And um, it is just, uh, just a wonderful form of transport and everybody should have one in my opinion.